All right, first and foremost, I want to give all the honours, the praises, and the glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Wahavakar Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And who I reverence and honours to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. And I want to say to Wadi Yahawa, to Wadi Yahawa by Sham, Yahawa Shai, to Wadi Yahawa, to Wadi Yahawa by Sham, Yahawa Shai for allowing me to be able to minister to the elect in hopes of being saved within these last days, because we are living in the last days of the last days, right? So without further ado, just going to flow with the spirit. And Lord willing, this will be edifying, because that's what we have to do, edify the elect, right? That are on this side, right? So let's just flow with the spirit. And ain't no demon, ain't no principality going to stop the elect from teaching this word. Right? I want to start off on Psalms 89 and jump, jump straight to verse. Ah, go to verse 50. Remember, Lord Jehovah Shai, the reproach, right, of thy servants. So that's what we want Jehovah Shai to remember, right? The reproach of thy servants, those that are doing this word we're being reproached there's a lot of unbelievers out here so they're reproaching us and they're scorning us and they're mocking us but the heavenly father sees what's going on okay and it says lord reproach of thy servants so they're reproaching thy servants right they mock day and night okay how do I bear my bosom the reproach of all the, the mighty people? Serving King David, he had to bear that reproach of the people. Okay. And that's what we have to do within this truth, bear the reproach. And it says, of the mighty people, where if thy enemies, right, have reproached, O Lord, Jehovah Shai, where if they have reproached the footsteps, of that anointed, right? So the same thing happened to David, right? He had to suffer King Saul. His own household were rising up against him as well. His own household. That's that reproach, right? And it says, of the footsteps of thine anointed, blessed be the Lord Jehovah Shai forevermore. So even though we suffer, this reproach, guess what we have to do? Endure, right? All things for Yahweh Shai's sake. Okay? So we went to that. Now, let's go to, excuse me, just a minute. Proverbs. We're just going to flow with this, but I haven't got nothing um, written. Go to Proverbs 28. And 13, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper, right? So we don't want to cover our sin, right? And it says, Baba Kisha, but whoso confesseth and forsaketh them shall have mercy, right? So we need to confess our sins before Yahabai Shem Yahabashai. And that's how we'll show mercy, right? Through confession. So as long as you confess your sins to Yahweh Shai, bro, you're good. Okay? And it says, and for sake of them shall have mercy. Right? I want to pan the camera. I want to pan the camera. Excuse me just a minute. It hasn't really gotten bad yet. But 
a few more people are coming out now. So this is how it works, right? Teach us word. And you just see people come out of nowhere. It's just like, what's it? A moth to a flame. <laughs> That's what it's like. It's like a moth to a flame. But you know what? Some people are going to receive the light and others are not. But really, we're out here for the elect. We're not out here for everyone. And I'm going to start doing this as well, panning the camera. Okay. As soon as I come out, it starts being packed. Right? Like, this is highly spiritual, as I always say. But anyway, wait just a minute. And bro, we got to love teaching this word, no matter what. Right? No matter what. you got to be zealous for your have a shy. I mean, you're zealous for him. Beautiful long hair. If you're zealous for him, right, he's able to what? Come through for you. Right? And defend his elect. So as long as we keep enduring, Yahweh is able to come through for us. Now, if you don't endure, guess what's going to happen? Hmm? You're going to get caught out there. And Satan's going to have his way with you. Because that's why these people, if they can, if they could, they'll have their way with you. I'm telling you. Right? And it says... Happy is the man that fareth always, but he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. So we want to fear always. Fear the Lord. Fear Yahweh Shai. Always fear him. Continually. Right? Happy is that man. So if you're fearing Yahweh Shai, you're in a good place. Right? If you fear him. Now if you don't fear him, you could always pray for more fear. Excuse me, just a minute. The screen's a bit blurred. You could always pray for more fear. And that's what we ought to do. If you don't have enough fear, well, guess what? Pray for more fear. Right? The happiest the man that fear always, right? Continually. But he that hardeneth his heart shall fall into mischief. And that's why a lot of these people fall into mischief. Because they harden their heart to this word. Right? And I want to I want to speak more on the fear of the Lord. Right? That's what I want to speak for. Okay. Come on now. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Okay. And when you fear you have a shy, what's he able to do? Impart you with more wisdom understanding and guide you on every single level you can imagine right excuse me just a minute we're going to go to some scriptures about the fear of the lord right because that's essential in these times that we fear him Wait me just a minute. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Wait me just a minute. That's the beginning of wisdom. You can have all this knowledge, but you don't fear you have a shine. You know what, you know what, you know what, hold on, hold on, hold on. So lucky this morning, I'm a bit all over the place. All right, all right. That's the on that, yep. Fair by the Lord, we got it. Right, so we're going to go to the Apocrypha. Okay. And it says, Baba Kisha. This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter one. All wisdom come from the Lord Yahweh Sham Yahweh Shai. Right? All wisdom come from Yahweh Shai. Okay? And is from him, with him, forever. So ultimately, all wisdom comes from Yahweh Shai. All. Every bit of wisdom upon this earth comes from the Heavenly Father directly. That's the source, right? Of our wisdom. Who can number the sand of the sea? 
So there's no one that can actually number the sand of the sea. No one. Right? No one. There's too much sand. Right? And it says, and the days of eternity. Right? Because there's no end of days. That's why the Heavenly Father is known as the Ancient of Days. There's no end to him. Right? Who can find out the height of heaven and the breadth of the earth and the deep and wisdom? Right? That's why it was said to Esau, if you could search out the waters, if you could search out the heavens, I'd do away with the nation of Israel. Right? Wisdom had been created before all things. Right? Before all things. Long with me go to that. Proverbs 8. Right? Proverbs 8. Right? Wisdom is before all things. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, check this out. And wisdom has been created before all things, and the understanding of prudence and wisdom. Right? Okay? All things have been created. But first, what? Wisdom and prudence before all things, right? Discernment, okay? And it says, Baba Kusha, check this out, right? Wisdom have been created before all things and understanding of prudence from the everlasting. Understanding of prudence, searching out matters. Okay, and it says, the word of the Most High, check this out, is the founding of wisdom, right? Founding is running waters, and her ways are everlasting commandments. So the ways of the Lord Yahweh are everlasting commandments. And what did Yahweh say? If you love me, keep my commandments. So we're supposed to keep the Lord's commandments to the best of our ability. We're not going to be perfect, but the main ones you can keep is if you're a woman, wear an address, that's easy. And if you're a man, keep a beard on your face. Easy commandments. Okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, check this out. And her ways are everlasting commandments. So now we are supposed to follow the commandments as well. Okay? The commandments are good. Right? It's only bad when we transgress them. Right? Come on now. And it says, Baba Kasha, to whom have the root of wisdom been revealed? And whom have known her wise counsel? Excuse me, just a minute. Go to Jeremiah. There's a particular scripture I'm looking for. I can't find it. He giveth his secrets. He showeth his secrets unto the prophets. And that's why I need to read more because certain scriptures I'm forgetting. Right? I can't find it. Right? Go back to where we were. Okay? And it says, Unto whom have the knowledge of wisdom be manifest? Some wisdom ain't manifest at all. Matthew 13 and 10. Right? It's given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Or who have understand her great experience? So this great experience that comes with wisdom. The scripture says, the man that has traveled knoweth many things. So there's wisdom and experience, and wisdom is what? Experience, which means tried out. Wisdom ain't just something you've learned. Wisdom is application of knowledge. That's what wisdom is, okay? And it says, Baba Kasha, check this out. And there is one wise and greatly to be feared. The Lord sitting upon the throne. Right? The Lord sitting upon the throne. So who do you fear? You fear the Heavenly Father. That's who you fear. Right? And he's on the throne right now. Waiting to come down. Keep preaching down. Right? Doing good. All right, thank you. And the Lord sitting upon his throne. He created her and saw her and numbered her and poured her out upon all flesh 
So that's what wisdom has been. Huh? He numbered her and poured her upon all flesh. And it says, Baba Kisha, the fear of the Lord is honor. Right? So when you fear the Lord, he also is able to honor you when you fear him. So there's certain things that come with fear when you have a shine. And honor is one of them. So if you want honor, you have to fear you have a shine. If you want the honor, right? And it says, Baba Kisha, and glory and gladness. So there's glory, there's gladness that comes with fearing Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. There's a joy that comes with this. It's like a gladness you have inwardly. Right? And it says, and a crown of rejoicing. So you're also giving what? Rejoicing. You're able to rejoice in Yahweh Shai. Right? And whosoever fear of the Lord, it shall go well with him at the last. Right? And he shall find favor in the day of his death. That's why you need to fear you have a shine. So you can find that favor. Alright there, brother. Well, yeah, how is everything going? Yeah, trust me, man. It's living, isn't it? Yeah, the joy, your joy. Yeah, healing. Huh? Is your joy, is it healing? Yeah, I saw that after yesterday. Oh man. Uh, no. Brother, you know, you gotta stay out, stay out of trouble, man. Bro, Please. Trouble, trouble, trouble. I know, I know. Well, it just follows you. In times of love, when they're at the same time, I'll give a little joy out to the world as well. Right, all right. It's the balance, isn't it? Yeah, all right, stay, stay joyful, man, and, you know, keep the faith, man. Definitely. All right. And it says, the fear of the Lord is honor, glory, and gladness, and the crown of rejoicing. Whoso feareth the Lord, you have a shy. It shall go well with him, right? And at the last he shall find favor in the day of his death. To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. That's the beginning. So you want any type of wisdom, it starts with fearing you have a shine. Okay? That's where it starts. For you fearing you have a shine. Right? And you know when people wear red, you know what that represents? Sacrifice. Right, so these people, are, a lot of these people are telling you as well what they're thinking. Good morning, man. All right, yeah. Good. Yeah. So that's what you want to do. You want to fear you have a shy. Right? And don't be afraid of these niggas, because really, a lot of the time, it's our own people that come up against us. Most of the time. Fear him. That's all you need to do. And everything else will be good. Right? It doesn't mean evil ain't going to come your way. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, to fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Right? That's the beginning, right? Of wisdom. So that's what we want to do. Okay? And it says, it is created. And it was created with the faithful in the room. Okay? Wisdom and fear was created with the faithful in the room. Right? So, that was going to be with the elect, that fear that they had, right? She had built an everlasting foundation with men, and she shall continue with rare seed, right? So fear will continue with what? The seed of the elect, right? And in our kingdom, we ain't going to be celebrating no LGBT. We ain't going to have no LGBT flags. No rainbow, well we will have rainbow colored flags but it's going to be nothing to do with LGBT which they're pushing now, that filth and having you to believe that and accept that you ain't going to have that in the kingdom and it says to fear the Lord is what fullness of wisdom and filleth men with her fruits right, so that's the main goal and you want wisdom, you better fear you have a shy. Then what? He starts supping with you. He starts breaking off certain wisdom to you. Right? And it says, right? And a lot of our people, they get hypnotized by the devil. They get tricked. Right? A lot of our people get tricked by the enemy. I want to go into that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
Because that's what the, de the devil, you know what the devil's job is? The devil's job is to sow that seed from your heart. The devil deceives a lot of our people. Right? What do you keep touching the man for? The man don't want to be touched. Why do you keep touching him? <laughs> See, you've got a brother, you've got a brother sitting down, listening to what I have to say, then the devil comes up and distracts him. Go to Mark. The scriptures talk about that in Mark. Right? Go to Mark. But this happens, I've seen it many times. I've seen it many times, right? Go to Mark, see if I can find it, right? Hold on just a minute. I know I'm all over the place this morning, but so what? About the different seeds, see if I can find it that was sold, right? Excuse me just a minute. Right? Can't find it right now. I know it's somewhere in Mark. The different seeds that were sown on the ground. Right? I'm just panning the camera. I'm just panning the camera. That's all. Don't be camera shy. Right? 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 You know you're an Israelite, young man. Right? You're an Israelite. Right? Read the Bible. We're children of Jacob. Right? And come back to your nationality. Okay. Salvation is for you. Okay. Madam, do you mind if I ask you, do you teach your children the Bible? Yeah? No? No, she ain't answering. That's okay. <laughs> See? That's what you're supposed to be teaching them. The Bible. Well, well, what are you teaching them? Huh? Grandma. Oh, it's your grandma. Okay. <laughs> See, they're inquisitive. They want to learn. Right? But the scripture says that then the evil one taketh away the word. Right? I've got it. This is Matthew 13. Right? This is what you should be teaching your offspring. This word. Not no LGBT or no sex ain't marriage. You should be teaching them the Bible. That's what we should be teaching the people. And let's go to Matthew 13. And 18, hear ye the parable of the sower, when he heareth the words, and of the kingdom, and understandeth it not, right? It's the, the parable of the seeds, right? And cometh the wicked one, and catch up, see, that's an example. A brother was sitting up here to listen, then cometh the wicked one, right? I just want to put, hold on, is the camera pan? Right, let me just pan the camera. Then cometh the wicked one and snatcheth away which was sown in his heart. So our people are listening to the word, then the enemy comes and, and snatcheth that word away from him. And the wicked one catcheth that which was sown in his heart. This is he that received the seed by the wayside. Right, I don't know if he's on camera. Yeah, yeah, where is it? Let me zoom up, let me zoom up. Hold on. Right, you see the brother listen there, then that other man came right up to him, snatching that seed. Right? Our people, there's people out here that want to learn, that want to get this work. But then you have the devil that's trying to stop others from waking up. Right? But ultimately, the elect were going to get it anyway. Ultimately, and that's the main thing. Right? The elect were going to hear this work and be saved. Right? And come back to repentance. Okay? But this happens, man. We're teaching this word. Then the evil one comes up. The, the man's touching him as well. Why do you keep touching him? Right? Tell the man to... to man, tell, the man not to tell the man to stop doing that. And you can see he looks uncomfortable as well. And it says, But he that received the stone in the stony places. So like I'm all over the place today. Right? Stony places. Now, you know, go back to where we were. That's why you've got to fear the Lord. The fear of the Lord is the crown of wisdom, maketh peace, and perfect health. So even with teaching these videos and the playing, you're also what heals you, right? You also get healed, perfect health, right? And what, Yahushua was able to heal people through this work. 
right? And to flourish. Both which are the gifts of the Most High and it enlargeth. Key thing, enlargeth. We are rejoicing that love him. All right? And it says, verse 19, wisdom reigneth down skill. True wisdom, not this shit in your public pool systems. That ain't true wisdom. Right? This is true wisdom. Right? You, you, can always, you always tell who the handlers are as well. And it says, a knowledge of understanding. Right? And exhorted them to hold honor and hold her fast. That's what wisdom does. Right? It exalts one to what? Honor. Right? And the root of wisdom is to fear the Lord. That's the beginning. That's the root of wisdom. It all goes back to that fear. That hold her fast. The root of wisdom is to fear the Lord. And the branches there of our long life. The fear of the Lord drives away sins. So you want to drive away your sins as well? Guess what you do to get, get rid of your sins? You keep fear in the Lord. Right? Though your sins be as what crimson, I will make thee pure. Right? The fear of the Lord driveth away sins. Right? And where it is present, right? It turneth away wrath. So now Yahweh is able to turn away that wrath that was once upon you. How? Through his fear. That's how he's able to do it. Through you fearing him. Right? And it says, come on, come on now. So we went to that Baba Kisha. Just stay consistent with this. The Lord wants us to be consistent. Go to Isaiah. Isaiah 66. Doth saith the Lord, the heaven is my what? Throne. And the earth is my footstool. Right? Heaven is the Lord's throne. And the earth is the footstool. Right? So that's the heaven. It's referred to the heavenly father. The earth is his footstool. Right? That's why it says the dust, it's the dust of his feet, right? And it says, where is the house that thou may build unto me? And where is the place of rest? And that's why Solomon wanted a place to be built for him. Right, let me pan the camera, right? You just see these people walking past. You're only gonna get a few that are really sincere, right? And where is my place of rest? Hmm? And it says, Baba Kusha, check this out. For all these things have my hand made. All these things. All these things you see. That's why he didn't need what the sacrifice of bulls and all these other things. Because it says, all these things my hand has made. Right? And it says, and all those things have been saved. Right? The Lord Jehovah Shai. But to this man will I look. Even to him who is poor and of a contrite spirit. So that's who Yahweh Shah will look at, those that are poor and of contrite spirit. So what does contrite mean? Shattered. Right? Humble. Okay? That's who Yahweh Shah will look to. And trembleth at my word. So what does that take? That takes fear. Right? To tremble at the Lord's word. Right? It takes fear. Okay? And it says, He that killeth an ox, right, which is the animal for serving, right? And I'll keep saying this. A lot of people nod their head. A lot of people say, all right, but are they really down for the truth? Like, bro, this is about what Yahabashai thinks of me. I'm not in this for the validation of men. I don't give a shit what men think. It's about Yahabashai, if he accepts me. I don't want to be accepted by the world. Because the world could turn up on you. The world could switch up on you. The world could love you one day and hate you the next. That's why I seek the validation of Yahweh Shai. I don't want the validation of those that are in cults, these death cults. I want the validation of those that are in Yahweh Shai. Right? 
and it says, and he that sacrificed a lamb, as he that cut off a dog's neck, right? So the Lord was getting fed up of our sacrifices because we were running it into the ground. He'd rather that we just obey him. That's what he would rather, right? That's why it says obedience is better than sacrifice. If you were obedient, then you wouldn't need to sacrifice at all. If you were obedient to the Lord Yahweh's will, you wouldn't need to do that. Okay? That's why obedience is better than sacrifice. Okay? And therefore, when you do that, guess what? You're able to please Yahweh Shai. Right? And it says, and he that offer ablation is what? More than swine's blood. He that burneth incense is blessed, is he that blessed for idol. Right? The scripture are very, very on point. Right? Love was getting fed up of that. Because we were just running it into the ground. Right? And it says, Yeah, they have chosen their own ways. Check this out. And their souls delight in their abominations. So you still got our people, they're not gonna to want to repent. They're still gonna to want to delight in abominations. Right? And it says, I will also choose their delusions. Right? So that's what the Lord's gonna do. Because you didn't want to listen. So now the Lord's gonna choose your delusions for you. Right? And I will bring their fears upon them. So the Lord's gonna bring your deepest fears upon you. And sometimes I have to do that. Sometimes I have to pan the camera. Right? So the Lord's gonna bring what? Their delusions upon them. Okay? And it says, Baba Kishah, and bring their fears upon them. So also, it's gonna bring your deepest fears upon you. Why? Because you chose not to hearken unto this word. And we're not speaking to everyone, we're speaking to a remnant of our people, right? Because when I called, you did not answer. So our people, they didn't want to answer, right? But done evil, right? And spake, they did not hear, so this applies to now. When we were speaking, they were not hearing. They pushed away our hand. They didn't want to listen. So what do you think your house is going to do to them? That's why we're out here to warn you. All right, say so get right before your house shall come. Okay. When I spake, they did not hear, so they chose not to listen to these words. All right. But check this out. Did evil before my eyes? So they were doing nothing but evil before the Lord Jehovah Shai's eyes. And it says, and choose that which I delighted not. So they were choosing what? Evil. And in the ways that the Heavenly Father did not delight it. Right? Hear the words. All ye that tremble at his word. Your brethren that hated you and cast you out. So there's certain men that will get cast out. Right? Check this out. Yeah, you can tell who all the handlers are. They go in, then they come out. They go in. Everything is highly orchestrated within this society, right? Very orchestrated, right? Okay? And I want to show you something as well. Let me show you something. You know this place across the road in yellow? Zoom up on that. Bro, we're going to expose everything. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You know this place in yellow, right? You got some people going in there, taking your photos, and going straight to the snap photo specialist, right? So, bro, there's a lot of things going on, right? There's a lot of demons out here. There's a lot of people that don't want this truth to get out. But guess what? The truth is coming out. And you can't, <laughs> there's nothing you can do to stop it. Your hands are too sharp to box with God, right? So I just want to let you know that. That snappy shop's there. You've got people taking pictures, going out there and processing pictures of us. But the Lord set them up to do that, right? But as for us, we're going to teach this word of Yahweh Shai. Ain't no form of occultism, witchcraft, is going to stop this word. 
But it shows you're a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Right? We don't follow the principles of Alistair Crowley, Anton LaVey. Right? What else? What's the other name? Helena Flavatsky. We don't follow those practices. Right? These were Satanists. These were occultists. Right? And occultism is what? It's Satanism. And what's Satanism? It's witchcraft. And what's witchcraft? It's idolatry. All going back to Genesis, the what, third chapter? And you should know of good and evil, right? All we were supposed to know of what? Good. We wasn't supposed to know of evil. All we were supposed to know is good. But because our people ate of that fruit, now we know both sides. We were only supposed to know good, right? But that's what happens when you partake in the ways of the serpent, right? I always say to brothers, be very, very, very circumspect of what's going on around you, right? But I just thought I'd point that out because I noticed it last week. You had people taking my photos and going straight into um, a photo digital specialist. I told you, all things are happening. Deep fake, they can have your face, they can manipulate it, they can make up things about you. This is real, this is real life. This is real life stuff. That's why you have to be circumspect because the devil's on the prowl. Bear me just a minute. I'm all over the place today. I haven't written anything down, right? You have to be circumspect, right? A lot of these, yeah, a lot of these people are Satanists. Just look at the clothes they wear. Skull and bones, right? These different societies that they're a part of, the Rosicrucians, the Golden, what's it, the cult, what's it, Golden Dawn, the, the Jesuits, what else? What's the other one? You got that women's one, the Eastern Stars, that's a women's cult, the Eastern Stars, which they worship the pentagram. So, bro, they're not telling you about what really goes on within society. This is a wicked society, man, which is based on Satanism. Right? We need to come back to Yahweh Shai, the laws, the statutes and commandments, even if we're not keeping it perfect. Right? You watch them Dracula movies, well, them Dracula movies, it's based on real life. Right? Drink it, drinking people's blood. Bro, that happens, man. You know them Dracula movies? That actually happens. It's called adrenochrome, where they drain the blood. It's called ritual abuse. Right? It's called ritual abuse. Where they abuse, of, ab you know why they do ritual abuse? To get your blood pumping, your heart pumping. And they love that, and demons feed off that as well, when you're panicking. Demons feed off that. Then, once they feed off that, what do they do? They, 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 they cut you and they drain that blood and they drink it. Bro, this is what's going on within society, but they're not going to tell you these things. Let me pan the camera. But they're not going to tell you these things. I'm going to start doing that from now. I'm panning the camera on the ground. This is what goes on. Count Dracula, right? Drinking blood like the Abbot. For, who's that wrestler? I forget his name. <laughs> right? I think it was Gang Gangrel. He used to drink blood. Right? Well, this happens. Right? You got modern day vampires today. The elites, they drink blood for a living. Right? I'm telling you, they do it. They do it to stay younger, so they stay young. The average person say, nah, you're making. No, this is what they do. And you got trafficking as well. They're trafficking people for organs, rituals, blood rituals. Right? There's child trafficking, sex trafficking organ trafficking, this happens worldwide. Different agencies are a part of it, third party agencies. This is what's going on. Even within the city of London. I wouldn't be surprised if that happens here in Craven. Yeah, you've got this going on. People getting sold on the market, right? You just go to, go to Chinatown, go to Oxford Street. You see people um, working, these women working in these particular places. They're slaves. Right? They've been trafficked. Right? So bear me just a minute. I'm kind of very enough topic. We're supposed to speak out against all evil. Scripture says, um, hate the evil and love good. So you're supposed to love good. I'm, I'm just jumping around. I don't know what I'm going to get. Isaiah 44 
and 24, Thus saith the Lord Jehovah Shai, thy Redeemer. Right? And he that formed thee from the womb, I am the Lord that maketh all things. The Lord makes of all things, every single thing you see. Right? He is the Lord. Right? That stretcher from the heavens, stretcher forth the heavens, it's luckier. Right? That stretcher forth the heavens. So he even stretches the heavens out. Right? And it says, Baba Kishar, the stretcher forth the heavens alone and spreadeth above the earth by himself. Does that for shock for straight of the tokens of lions. Right? So that's what Yahushua is doing. Frustrating the tokens of lies, right? The signs, right? Of lies. That's what a token is. A token is a sign. See, how is frustrating the tokens, the signs of lies, right? And make if diviners mad. So all the diviners, he makes them mad. Bro, you got a lot of dividing that goes on. Bro, you have diviners in every town, every city. And it says he makes them mad. Why? Because we know dividing on the left hand side, there's no real profit to it. So he makes them mad. So the diviners, they get mad. We can get that as well. Excuse me. So the diviners are even getting mad. Right? Baba Kisha. Come on now. Excuse me, just a minute. Because you have dividing that goes on within the society, right? Those that divide on the left hand side. Okay. Excuse me, just a minute. This is Ecclesiastes 34. The hopes of a man, void of understanding, are vain and false. And dreams lift up fools. Whoso regardeth dreams. It's like him that catcheth a shadow and followeth after the wind. The vision of dreams is the resemblance of one thing to another, even as a likeness of face to face. Or the unclean thing, what can be cleansed, and from that which is false, what truth can come? So what truth can come from something that is false? Nothing. Because it's falsehoods. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, Verse 5, divinations and soothsayings, right? Divination and soothsaying, which is witchcraft, right? Which is conjuring the spirits of the dead. That's what divination is. And soothsaying. And dreams are vain, right? So soothsaying, divinations, they're vain. And the heart that fancy him means like a woman's heart in travail. And it says, Baba Kisha, check this out. If they be not sent from the Most High in their visitation, right? Set not their heart upon them. So if it's not truly sent by the Heavenly Father, do not send your heart, set your heart upon these vain visions, these dreams, right? Because they're not true. They're vain. Neither soothsaying, because they're communicating with spirits of the dead and we're not supposed to communicate with the spirits of the dead so set not your heart upon them they are false visions they are false diviners demons are working with them satan is working from them they are not inspired by the heavenly father they are seeking familiar spirits right wicked spirits upon them right and it says baba kisha yeah, bro, there's a lot of evil and wickedness that goes on in these buildings. A lot. That they're not showing. Right? And it says, For dreams have deceived many, and they that have put their trust in them have failed. Right? So dreams, it does fail many. You can't put your trust in a dream. Now, some of us do get real dreams, but you can't put your trust in that particular dream. Because that dream may be off. Right? 
and it says, Baba Kisha. And you see, all these people, they're so lost, they're so gone. A lot of these people, you see them with a headphone in their ear, looking on, looking on the left of them, looking on the right of them, looking behind them, right? They're like being controlled by some computer because they have handlers. And a lot of them get told what to do. Like, you gotta, you, bro, you gotta realize these people are zombies. You have to realize that. They're not re willing to come out of the matrix. They're being manipulated by demons and technology. For real. And dreams have deceived many. They that have put their trust in them have what fell. The law shall be found, right? Perfect without lies and wisdom is perfection to a faithful mouth. So when it comes to dreams, first you need to be faithful when it comes to dreams and things like that. You need to be faithful first, right? So let's go back to Isaiah 45 and actually 44 and 25. That frustrated the tokens of liars. So the tokens of liars, yeah, they're frustrated. The signs of liars. Okay? And it says, and make if diviners mad. Right? So we're also making these, these diviners, remember, they get money of divining. We're making them mad. Right? That turn if wise men backward. The wise men of this world. Right? We're turning them backward and make of their knowledge foolish because their knowledge is foolish. They're communicating with spirits on the left hand side. And it says, and confirm the word of his servant and perform the counsel of his messenger. Right? And he said to Jerusalem, Thou shalt be inhabited of and to the cities of Judah, you shall be built. I will raise up the declared places thereof. So, Divination, the diviners, they're losing, right? Those that are divining, right? Divining is not certain when you divine on the left-hand side, right? It's not for certain, right? Go to Isaiah. Hold on just a minute. And Jeremiah. And right now we're just fishing, that's all. Right now we're just fishing. Now actually, go to Jeremiah. Um, 16, behold, I was sent for many fishers. So right now, what are we doing? We're fishing for the elect. The Lord is sending for fishers. So right now we're just reeling in. Right? we just reeling in. We're fishing. And when you're fishing, you catch all types. You catch all types of fish, right? You may even catch a shark, you may catch a crab, you track that back into the sea. So right now we're fishing for the elect, right? In hopes that we get them good fish, them lawful fish. I can't find it, it's somewhere in Matthews. Okay, and that's all we're doing. Fishing for the elect, okay? And it says, Baba Kisha, behold, I was sent for many fishes. That's what we're doing right now. Put it in that reel and fish it. Say the Lord and they shall fish them. Right? I'm preaching the Bible, madam. Okay, amen to that. What chapter are you on there preaching? I'm reading chapter Jeremiah 16 and 16. Behold, I sent for many fishes. Amen. Right? Keep up the good work of the Lord. Well, thank you. Amen. Thank you. Okay, Penny. Bye-bye. All right, all right. Well, you know what? The Lord will bless you for that. Because most people come past and they just yeah, right. find their hand. Never mind, they will come one day. They will be coming rushing in, don't mm. worry. Yeah, but you know what, when it's too late, that's why I'm out here now, because it's going to be a famine that's of right. the words. That's right, and then you can see it coming. Yeah, I can see it coming. But as I say, keep up the good work. All right, thank you, Spirit of God. Yes. All right, blessings for that. May the Lord bless you. Okay. And it says, and they shall fish them and send for many hunters, so... We're fishing right now, but then the hunters, so she said, then they're going to see. Yeah, they're going to see in time. In due time, they're going to realize what we were saying was true. You were mocking us, laughing. You got to find out what everything we were saying was true. Right? Then I will send for many hunters. So we're going to be hunters 
we go hunt them out. Right now we're just fishing. And hunting is quite violent, right? So soon we're going to be hunting, right? And that's where we're going to be giving them spiritual powers, right? See, right now we're just, just fishing this world. But soon we're going to be giving spiritual powers. And oh, man, I can't wait. And we have spiritual power now, but it's going to be amplified. And when we get it, man, we're going to be doing all types of things. We're going to be climbing, flying, climbing buildings. Like, it's going to be beautiful, right? We're going to be able to make objects move with our eyes. We're going to be able to make, you know that van on the left? I'm going to be able to make that van flip. Bro, it's going to be beautiful. This is what I'm waiting for. Them spiritual powers on a high, high level. This is what I'm waiting for, right? Oh, and it's coming as well. We just have to wait, be patient, right? And it says, Baba Kishah, and I will send for many hunters and they shall hunt them from every mountain. And they shall hunt them from every mountain, from every hill. So we're going to be doing a lot of hunting, right? And out of the holes of the rocks. So we're also going to hunt these nations out of the holes of the rocks, right? So the elites, we're going to pull them out of their bases, their houses. And they're going to be in underground bases, by the way, hidden, right? Oh, we're going to pull them out, right, on a large scale. The elites, because the elites are going to be hidden. The elites are going to survive the nuclear destruction, right? They're going to survive it, okay? And out of the holes of the rocks, so now we go to that, Baba Kishar. Let's go to Isaiah. I want to make sure I'm getting it in the right order. Go to Isaiah. Baba Kisha. It says we shall pull them out of the holes of the rocks. Isaiah 24 as well. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Go to Isaiah 13 instead. This is Isaiah 13, right? And jump straight to... Jump straight to verse... Hold on. You know what? It's Isaiah 2. This is Isaiah 2, right? And Baba Kisha. Verse 6. Therefore thus saith, thus hath forsaken the people, the house of Jacob, because they be replenished from the east. What does it mean, replenished from the east? Hmm? It means they're replenished through what Sue said. Witchcraft. Right? And our soothsayers, like the Philistines, so our people go into what Sue said. Communicating with spirits of the dead, right? And Philistines. And they then please themselves within what? The children of strangers, right? There's a lot of witchcraft going on. You can even feel it, right? And it says, and the land is full of horses, yeah, man? Wait, look, I'm Jesus, come down and help everyone. Fucking, I want to go back, no. Well, you know what? There's going to be a time when he does. When is your time to go back? You will, but for now, he have you here. I fucking don't want to be here no more. <laughs> well, you know what? Most of us feel like that. But you know what? Until you have a shot, has you here, you're going to be here. And you should want to live. Why not? Why you know? you're not getting in trouble all the time, But have you know time. what? Just try to stay out of trouble. Try to stay out of trouble. Ain't me, it's everyone else, isn't it? Well, you know what? Just enjoy. Just enjoy. I am bless you, brother. Right, and name of Father, Son, Holy Ghost. Yeah, I right. <laughs> Clap your hands if you're happy. Come on. Oh, man, clap, oh, clap your hands. No, no, I don't want to do that. I don't... Why not? This right. is. I'll clap. I'll clap, hey, clap your hands. Fucking clap your hands, brother. I'm clapping. I'm clapping with the scriptures. All right. Take care. What are you, Irish? Scottish? Irish? I'm Irish. I'm English. I'm Spanish. I'm Mexican. Oh, you're one of us anyway. You're on, the, you're on this side. Well, you know what? The Lord's going to look after his people. Right? Don't worry about that. And it says, Baba Kasha. Right? You get, you get all types of characters out here. All types of characters. Right? And that's why it's funny. You have demons that try to stop this world, but people are still listening. They still listen to what we got to say. 
It's just these fucking demonic ass networks. That's all it is. You still get people that listen to us and so forth. Right? And it says Baba Kasha. Check this out. And the land is full of silver. Right? And gold, neither is there any end of their treasures. Their land is full of horses, neither is there any end of their treasures. Right? Speak about America and chariots. Their land is full of idols. They worship the work of their own hands, just like now. You're seeing people worshiping the work of their own hands. Let me pan the camera. Let me pan the camera. You got people worshiping the work of their own hands. Right? Look at all these buildings. Let me pan the camera. Look at these buildings. And look how people, these people worship the work of their own hands. Which is idolism. This kingdom is based of idols. And you got people doing that. Worshipping the work of their own hands. Alright? Which is idols. Whatever you put before the Lord is idolism. And we're not supposed to put anything before the Lord Yahweh, right? We're supposed to worship the Lord Yahweh, our power, and Him only. So if you're not doing that, guess what you're doing? You're being an idolater, right? And the scripture says, Thou shalt have no other gods before me. None, right? So let's keep that in mind, right? I tell you that judgment's coming. That judgment is coming. Right? Let's get back to where we were. We're going to shut off soon. And it says, and the mean man, their land is full of idols. So this land is full of idols. Full of idols. Right? And they worship the work of their own hands. Right? That's what these people are doing. Right? And which they have made with their own fingers have made. And the mean man boweth down. Right? And the great man humbleth himself. And remember, demons, there's a lot of things they do as well. There's a lot of psychological tricks. Right? They do. Uh, let, me, let me look up my time. You ain't got that, that long. That's basically showing him, oh, you ain't got that long left. Well, it's all psychology tricks. But the Lord will judge you for that. Right? If there's evil intent. Right? And it says, the land is full of idols. So this land is full of idols. Just look at the infrastructure, the pillars. This is Greek architecture. When you actually look at the pillars, everything. This is Rome, Greece, all over again. All you've got to do is just look at the architecture of everything. Right? And how it's designed. And it says, and the mean man boweth down. Right? And the great man humbleth himself, right? Therefore, forgive them not. Enter into the rock, right? Hide thee in the dust for the fear of the Lord. And, check this out, the glory of his majesty. So it says, hide. Hide thee in the dust for the glory of his majesty. So you're going to get a lot of people that are going to be hiding. Oh yeah. They're going to be hiding. Okay. For the glory of Yahweh's majesty. Including the elites. Okay. And it says. Baba Kisha. Where was I? For the lofty looks of man shall be what? Humbled. And the haughtiness of men shall be bowed down. That's why it says every, every what's it, knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess, right? And it says, Baba Kisha, and the Lord alone shall be exalted in that day. So why, every knee's gonna bow, every tongue's gonna confess, right? And be exalted, right? Every knee. You got to taking the children to the cinemas. Really, you should have them come up here and learn this word. That's what you should have them doing. You taking them to the cinemas. What are they learning? Right? What are you teaching them? Are you teaching them to be better? Right? Are you teaching them folly? Right? 
These people are sick, right? You should be teaching these children the scriptures. That's what you should be teaching them, right? The Holy Bible, right? Look at these fucking dirty ass masons, man, right? Look at these dirty ass masons, right? And these stupid bitches, these stupid whores, right? So I've got to say that. <laughs> and it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, enter into the rock and hide thee in the dust for the fear of the Lord. Right? So that's what these nations are going to be doing. They're going to be hiding. Right? For the fear of the Lord, Yahweh Yahweh And every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess. Right? Dirty slut. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, and enter into the rock and hide thee. And the lofty looks of man shall be bowed down. Right? Da 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 da. And it says, and enter into the rock and hide thee in the dust for the fear of the Lord, for the glory of his majesty. Right? So it says, hide thee in the rock for the glory of his majesty. The Lord's majesty. Right? So these nations, what are they going to be doing? Hiding. For Yahweh Shai's majesty, his glory. Right? So much demons out here. Sometimes it's hard to focus. Maybe just a minute, but we've got to stay focused. Because they're trying to make you distract on the things of this world. That's what, that's what demons try to do. Right? Demons try to boggle your mind. Confuse you. Right? Anyways, for the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud. Right? And lofty. Right? And you got this guy shining these bright lights at me, bright light at me. That's another form of gaslight. Right? They do that shit all the time. Right? All the time. And it says, and upon all the high mountains, and upon the hills, right? That are lifted up, right? And it says, and upon every high, check this out, high tower and upon every fence wall, right? So these cities are going to be judged, right? These cities are going to be judged, right? Big time, okay? Yahushua is coming to what? Cast down these cities, cast down these towns, cast down these high walls. Right? Just want to show you another tactic of what these devils do. Let me pan the camera. Let me pan the camera. Bro, we're catching everything on camera. Don't know if you can see it. No, I can't really see it clear. They do that as well. They gaslight him with the moped. They try to bright light you. You fucking idiots, man. Right? It, it just, you know what it's all designed to do? To keep one distracted. So, remember, these people have handlers. They're told to do these things, right? But they're not going to stop the word. And you know what's so brilliant? This show you, this word is effective. Because if it wasn't effective, then guess what? They wouldn't need to do that, right? They wouldn't need to do that. But anyways, and it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And upon the high mountains, and upon all the hills, that are lifted up, right? All the hills. So these, these represent the high mountains. These are the high mountains. The governments, right? These are the high mountains, okay? And the hills, the hills are the nations, by the way. Okay, right? And it says, Baba Kisha, and the loftiness, I'm moving too fast. And up, up on every high tower and fence wall. These are high towers. These are fence walls. Thank you, Mike. All right, man. All right. So these are the high towers. These are the fence walls. All right? And the Richard Judgment's going to rain down pun. All right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. And upon the ships of Tarshish, Spain, and all the pleasant pictures. All right? You got these people like zombies. 
<laughs> all these people are like zombies, man. Heads stuck in their phones. Right? Yeah, they're being controlled by AI. Right? That's why the main thing, focus on the scriptures. Focus, focus on the scriptures. Don't focus on anything else. Right? These people are zombies, man. They're gone. They're gone. Right? They're gone. And it says, and the ships of Tarshish and all the pleasant pitches and the loftiness of man shall be bowed down. That pride, right? It's going to be brought down low. And the haughtiness of men, right? Shall be made low, right? And the Lord Jehovah alone shall be exalted in that day. So it says that the Lord Jehovah alone was going to be exalted in that day, in that time. Right? That's what the scriptures say. Okay. And it says, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha. And the idols shall be utterly abolished. And they shall go into the holes. And the rocks. So the idols here, they're going to be abolished. Right? The idols are going to be done away with. Right? And it says they should go into the holes of the rock. So you're going to have people hiding from the Messiah. Hiding from the destruction. For the fear of the Lord shall shy. And for the glory of his majesty. So that's what they're going to be doing. Hiding from the Messiah. Right? And it says. Right? And the reason you want to know why I'm panning the camera outwardly so you can catch everything on camera all the deceit that's why i'm padding the camera so everything can be caught right any plot any scheme that they're devising that could be caught on camera so that's why i'm padding the camera outside yes, man. right yeah, yeah man, right. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Right. Yeah. yeah man what were what, what you on instagram nah man youtube youtube what's your channel i don't really want to give up my channel like that no man. no that's a problem my fan my support no, because I'm here, really. You, you know anything about it. Islam? I don't, but someone told me to read it. A couple read up on it, man. I'm gonna read it. Because, bro, I, I used to be, I used to be the same. I never yeah? used to know about Islam, no. Yeah, but yeah. you know what? My mom's English and everything, bro. Right. And honestly, it makes sense. Yeah. More than, more than the KJV. Definitely. Well, you know what? I don't, I don't believe in that. This is what I believe. That's not what you believe, yeah. But it's, it's believing, and then you can, you can believe in something, but you can yeah. something that something might not be the truth. Yeah, and I know, and I don't believe. Because I can say to you, bro, yeah. that, that you're white. And I believe that you're white, but that's not the truth. Well, well, you know what? That, that ain't the truth, is it? Yeah. And what is How white? How do you know that's the truth? How? There's too many contradictions in well, that Well, bro, there's, there's several ways, but you know what? If you're not going to be convinced, it's not ready for me to convince you. Yeah, but you are sure. It's for the Holy Spirit to convince you. Okay. Right? And do you believe Jesus is God? No, he never said he was God. No, Muslim, no, the Muslims asking. believe that. No, we don't. No, we, oh, yeah, well, hold on. No, we don't. We believe in one God. We believe in the same God as, as, as the Christians and the Jewish. No, because yeah. uh, Muslims, they're into Catholicism. What's they that believe mean? that Immaculate Conception. What's that mean? They believe in a Immaculate Conception. No, we believe la ilaha illallah, there, there's one God. Yeah, there is, there is one God. There's one God and his last prophet, peace be upon him, which was John, Muhammad, which was John the Revelator, that w wrote the book of Re um, Revelations. No, no, no. It wasn't Muhammad that wrote Revelations, it was... No, no, we didn't and say you know it what, was. I was reading a bit of the Quran yes Who what, yesterday. Who wrote the Bible? I was reading a little bit of the Quran yesterday. And all the references I was noticing, I was reading it in English. Yeah. Most of it, some references was similar to the Bible. It's very similar. Rep yeah. Yes, you know why it's similar? Why? Because it's, the, it's all about the times. Mm -hmm. So the, the Torah, mm -hmm. the Bible, it's all the word from God. Like yeah. the, the original Torah, we believe word from God. Okay. Original Bible, word from God. God sent the Quran down. He said, listen, this is my last book. So it's very similar. We've got the same prophets who believe okay. in, in certain things. Well, who things. was Muhammad? Sorry, who was Muhammad taught by? He was taught by Khadijah. No, he wasn't. Muhammad, Khadijah. No, no, he wasn't. It was Khadijah no, who wasn't. was a Roman Israelite. No, a Roman, no, no, no. You got it wrong. Woman. You got it wrong. You got it wrong. Because Gabriel ran yeah. down the revelation to Muhammad, peace be upon him. And then his companions were writing it. According Khadijah to Khadijah's no. the first Muslim. She was the first yeah, yeah, one to she, convert. Yeah, but she taught because Muhammad was a literate. First woman. Yeah, he was a literate. He was a literate. Yeah, he, he, he had to be taught by a Roman Catholic. No, he was taught by the angels, brother. He, no, no, he was taught by Kadisha. He was an Israelite. He no, was... no, no. Hey, I've got to go, brother. When you, are, you uh, gonna, I... are you going to be here another day? Yeah, of course. It's, I'll see you tomorrow, bro. Yeah, I wish you know, I could get some talk, more time. Yeah, we could talk. Yeah, yeah, but it's good. I've been yeah, reading the Quran. Certain things are very similar it is to what the Bible similar. says. Ah, man. Shalom. Yeah, shalom. All right. So, yeah, the Quran, I've read a little bit of it, but 
it's not quite the same. Right? It's not quite the same. The Quran. I want to get back into it later, but this is the truth. But excuse me just a minute. Where was I? I keep getting interrupted. Right? I keep getting interrupted. Excuse me just a minute. So Isaiah 2. Right? Let's go into Isaiah 2. Right? And where was I? Where was I? 18. And the idols. Right? He shall utterly abolish. Right? And they shall go into the holes of the rock. So people are going to be hiding in some of these buildings from the Messiah. Right? And the caves of the earth. Right? For the fear of the Lord and for the glory of his majesty. So people are going to be hiding from the Messiah for that glory they're going to be seeing. Right? Of his majesty. And it says, Baba Kishra, hold on just a minute. And the glory of his majesty when he arrives to shake terribly the earth. So the earth's also going to be shaken up. Right? <laughs> and it says, Baba Kishra, and he advises me to terribly shake the earth. Um, How you doing? Yeah, I'm alright. So? Pardon? No, I'm alright. I'm alright. Thanks for asking, though. Thanks for asking. Why well, you got happy? Huh? You got happy? Uh, yeah. I thought you would come up and inquire about the truth. Yeah, I thought you was. You realize that you're not Christian. Are you Christian? Yeah. yeah. Not Muslim. What are you teaching about? Uh, the four types of Israel, the Bible. Basically, how the Messiah is coming, and he's coming to deliver an elect. I, I know. Right? I know, but, yeah. That's what I'm really teaching. And there's a two thirds, which represents 66.6, .6 that are going to be destroyed if they don't repent. And you have the one third, which represents the multitude, and 144,000 that represent the elect. Men, women, and children. So those that wake up to this truth, they all feel it. Those that don't, they're going to have to die on this side. So I'm teaching salvation. Good. Well, okay. what Well, if you want to, you ain't got a husband, so if you want to get more acquainted, uh, I'll teach you the Bible, innit? I read the Bible. Yes? <laughs> I know all this stuff. Okay. But, you know, you're doing, you're evangelizing. Yeah. If you haven't eaten, why not? But I'm not looking to get married. No? No, I'm young. I'm... Oh, well, that's not too young. I'm, I'm in my what? Early 30s, so, you know. <laughs> hey, anyways, you know what? I, no, I appreciate that, sister, because not wait. You're the only sister that's came up and asked me, do you want something to eat? Mate, what's your name? Kayla. Kayla. Well, uh, I'm going to get you something to eat. Thank you. 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 Just a little thing like that, that can get you saved. Because not many people do that. Most people just walk past, stop, talk shit. But you actually came to you want anything to eat. Sweat. Well, you know what? <laughs> sweat, sweat just needs to keep an old. Oh, okay, you're cursing. No, I'm not cursing. Even when I say fuck, fuck me. Oh, on the on the consent of the king. No, oh, I, 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 I won't swear, I won't swear, I won't swear. But you know what? Bless you too as well, Kayla. May your heart by Shemi Oh, yeah, I want to tell you something as well. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahawah. Yahawah, and his son's name is Yahawah Shai. Right, so please pull up on that name if you can remember. Name of the Heavenly Father, Yahawah, his son's name is Yahawah Shai. And if you ever want to learn anything, I'd be more than willing to. Um... Yes, I have an amazing <laughs> Yeah? All right, all right, thank you, Kayla. Right, see, it's a blessing. See, not everybody, I keep saying, not everybody's against you. Right? It's just a few people that don't like the word. That's all. And sister came up here and asked me, do I want any food? Do I want it? Bro, the elect are going to be looked after. That's why you've got to have faith. Right? This is why you've got to have faith in Yahweh Shai. Hey, that's a blessing. But you can't see the miracles if you're not out here. Hey, bracket to Yahweh, bracket to Yahweh Shai. Bracket to Yahweh, bracket to Yahweh Shai. Bracket to Yahweh, bracket to Yahweh Shai. Right? Nothing but blessings, right? That's why you got to teach this word. Because sometimes you can get in a rut thinking, well, nobody's really listening. No, there's people that are listening that are genuine. Yes, there is genuine people out there. 
It's just that there's not much. That's the only thing. But there is genuine people. Right? Oh, man. Hey, that's a blessing. You know what? I would have said, yeah, but nah, I don't really want to... <laughs> you know, I want to get me some food, you know? But you know what? It is what it is. What, what's that? Um, Hispanics. Well, you Hispanics are on the side. Jesus is negro. The blanco. Right? Jesus is el diablo. Right? You um, Hispanics. Familiar. Yeah? <laughs> okay? You Colombia. Right? And so forth. Yeah, Jesus Negro. Right? So, let's continue, Baba Kesha. It says, And the idols he shall utterly abolish, and they shall go into the holes, right? Of the rocks and into the caves of the earth for the fear of the Lord Jabashai and the glory of his majesty. When he arrives to shake terribly the earth. So he's going to shake this earth. He's going to shake it up. Right? And where was I? And in that day a man shall cast away his idols. All his idols. Right? Of gold which they made each for himself to worship and the moles and the bats. Right? And to go in the clefts of the rocks. So the elites are going to be hiding in the clefts of the rocks from the Messiah. Right? And in the tops. Right? Bro, that's that same play. That's the same aeroplane that follows me when I'm in the field. That's how you know, bro. Why am I a threat to the kingdom of darkness? The elect, we are a threat to the kingdom of darkness. Big time. Right? So it says, Baba Kisha, Baba Kisha. And to go into the clefts of the rocks and into the top of the ragged rocks. Right? And it says, for the fear of the Lord and the glory of His Majesty. When he arises to shake terribly, the earth sees he from man whose breath is in his nostrils. For wherein is he to be accounted thereof? Right? So we don't want to put our trust in man. First is he that puts his trust in man. Go to Proverbs 17. We're going to shut off soon. Right? Because I've got a lot to do. Yes, I am busy. The men of the Lord were always busy. With something. Go to Proverbs 17. We have to put our trust in Yahweh Shai. Right? Proverbs 17. And Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, check this out. Proverbs 17. Bear music and 19. Where was it? Where was it? Where was it? Can't find it. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Can't find it right now. But what are we supposed to do? Put our trust in Yahweh Shai. Right? Baba Kisha. Ah. Proverbs 3. Proverbs 3 and where is it? 5. Trust in the Lord Yahweh while Yahweh Shai. Right? Right? Trust in Him. Okay? Trust in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right? With all that heart, not some, all. Right? And lean not unto thy own understanding. So we always got to trust in Him. And let's not lean on our own understanding. Right? And it says, Baba Kisha, acknowledge Him and He shall direct thy paths. You can't lean on our own understanding. Acknowledge your Shai. And it says, He shall direct thee. Right? So. That's what Yahweh is going to do. He's going to direct his men. Right? And he shall direct their path. Right? So he wants us to be directed. Okay? Within this truth. 
Okay. Baba Kisha. Hold on just a minute. So ultimately, who is it that directs our way? Our paths? Yahweh Shai. He directs our paths. He's the one that makes our way straight. Okay? That's straight, and it's a straight path. And we will fall within his truth. There will be slips. There will be fall. Right? Direct thy paths. Right? And so forth. And he will make thy way straight. Always remember that. Right? He's the one that's going to guide your path. Okay? And don't worry about what everybody else is doing. Yeah, you know you have monitoring, you have monitoring spirits out here. And right, it doesn't matter. As long as you're in your house shy. That's the main thing. Don't worry about those that monitor you and no, don't worry about that. The Lord, the Lord will deal with them. It's just they have the spirit of um Satan upon them. Right? That's why they do what they do. We have the spirit of Yahweh Shai upon us. Right? Okay? And we're going to continue to teach this word. Okay? Just about to shut off as well. Continue to teach this word. And that's what we have to do. Right? Preach this word to the elect in hopes that they will be saved. Right? How you doing, sister? Good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. You know, getting quite a good reception today. Yeah. So how's everything been going with the Bible? You been reading the Bible? Uh, I've, I've, I've been slacking like, for three days. Okay. I've been going to church. Well, you know what? You don't need to. Like I said, you don't need to go to church. Yeah. I would advise you don't go to church. I know. Just wherever you're, your house or wherever, just read the Bible and get closer to your house shine. Build that um, relationship up. But how's everything been going in general? It's been awesome. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I got head off. I got head off. All right. Well, yeah, may you have a shot continue to bless you, right? All right. So, you know, I'm going to shut off. And until the next time, I want to give all honors and praises. All right, this, sir. Morning, brother. Morning, morning. Nice to see you. Yeah, nice to see you too as well. I don't get many greetings. Or I don't get many sincere greetings. You know, a lot of people greet me, but Christian. someone could greet you and, you know. You're a Christian, isn't it? Yeah. You're not born again, so you don't get many greetings. Half the time they take food. <laughs> yeah, that's it, they just take, take food off you. Know, you know what, yeah, a few people have been telling me to do that, just go more down. Yeah, so, yeah. There's not many things coming to my head. Yeah, yeah. I'm telling you to do it. So, without further ado, I want to shut off Lord winning. This was edifying. And until the next time, I want to say all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waha, Rakah, Kwadash, Shalom.